Hi, hi folks. All right, let us review some aspects of the Harris-Biden administration and what they're going to bring forth upon the nation. One of the things they're going to do is stop construction on the wall and allow illegals to come into the country. So what's the benefit of that? Well, it's a big benefit to the Democrats as they're gonna have millions or more new voters. It's going to overload our hospital system, our educational systems, and our social services system. But that's okay if they collapse. As long as they vote Democrat, that's irrelevant. He's also going to reduce border enforcement. Sure, let the new Democrats come into the country, so says he. Plus, he's going to end what he calls Trump's Muslim ban on certain countries. There was no Muslim ban. It was a terrorist ban. He banned countries that have a huge record of producing terrorists. Now, a lot of them just happen to be Muslim countries. So, in other words, if it was a Muslim ban, how come none of the Muslims from Indonesia or Malaysia was banned? It was just from those countries that have a heavy interest in promoting terrorism. Then he's going to put us back into the World Health Organization. Yeah, you know that organization that's controlled by the commies in China. And the reason why the Harris-Biden administration is going to do that, simply because the Chinese need the United States to pay their dues into the World Health Organization. And the Chinese already purchased the Biden crime family. So naturally they have to be in lockstep with the overlords in Beijing. See, <laughs> very simple. Getting us back into the, climb, the Paris Climate Accord. So we have to reduce everything in this country that produces anything that may pollute the air. Whereas the biggest polluters in the world, India and China, continue to pollute. He's getting us back into the Paris Climate Accord so he can hurt industry in this country. And what happens when you harm industry in this country that has to reduce its output or eliminate it altogether? The Chinese produce it. His overlords. See how that benefits? Then now he stopped the XL pipeline for the construction of it. And who does that hurt? It hurts union jobs. And what did the unions do? They supported this jerk. Even though the jerk Joe said before he got elected he was going to do it. But the mind numb union leadership still urged their members to vote for Democrats so they can lose their jobs. So what happens here is the price of petroleum is going to increase. Who does that hurt? Why? It hurts the, <laughs> it hurts the freeloaders and the moron votes. All those people that voted for Democrats, it's going to hurt you. Is it going to hurt the rich people? No, they can afford a rise in gasoline prices. You won't be able to afford it, so you're going to have to decrease your driving. And that makes the extreme liberals in the Democratic Party happy because they want to reduce auto emissions. So how do you do it? By raising the price of gasoline. He's going to raise taxes on the rich and on businesses. Businesses do not pay taxes. You do. They pass any tax increase into their services cost and into the product cost in which you pay for so you're going to pay more for goods that are transported via anything having to do with fossil fuel because of the gas prices go up. Plus, because of the taxes going up on businesses, they're going to be passed on to you. So you're going to pay more, pay more for groceries and other items you buy on an everyday basis. Plus, the minimum wage, $15, doubling the minimum wage. Who does that hurt? You! Because <laughs> businesses... They're going to do one of two things, lay off workers, which are the poor Democrat voters, or they're going to raise the price of their product and or service. Who does that hurt? The poor, the Democrat voters, because the rich people who support the Democratic Party, they can afford higher taxes, higher gas prices, and higher cost of goods at the $15 an hour, but you the downtrodden who think that the Democrats are supporting you and help you, they're just pushing you down further so you continue to vote for them. See? <laughs> Very simple, folks. But you continue to vote for those Democrats and witness the demise of these United States of America.
We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya. Ha 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 ha!